to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather. Sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So, how did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. <sighs> well... Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf? We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10 4. <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then.